they just started gobbling. And uh, this farm, there's a road that runs kind of right through the middle of it. And I was telling Lucas it's hard to know which side to be on. So we're up standing on the blacktop. Just going to walk back and forth until we hear one we can go after. And then just waiting at this point. Hopefully they gobble and hopefully there's one here. If there's not, then uh, we got other spots we can go. So stay tuned. I'm going to give it 10 minutes and hopefully one gobbles close. Oh, 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 oh,
That's cool, baby. <laughs> no way. You're insane. Got him left handed. You're insane. You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the cooler ones I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. It's older. I get it, guys. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Ain't no way. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Dude, he came in here on a string. <laughs> oh, he's got a broom. He's got a broom. <laughs> he smacked him. Dude, that's awesome. He's big, dude. <laughs> you shot with your left hand, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Dude, when you yelled. I was ready for you, and then he stopped right behind this tree. I know. Yeah. It was just a little like, ow, oh, and yeah. he just like, like. I thought he was gonna take a step forward. And, he... and then he saw us for one second. He stuck his head outside the tree. I'm like, perfect. And he just, boom. Dude, he didn't think twice about that turn. Oh no. All right, so <gasps> the blacktop road we were on is I don't know, maybe 200 yards, and we could hear there was more than just this bird, but there was three or four down in here, and we got. I don't know, 150 yards down in here. We actually spooked a turkey out of there, um, out of this tree down here, which is probably the one that was closest that we could hear. Um, but these birds were just like really fired up. Um, so Lucas and I came up here to the fence line and called, and I said to him, um, and Lucas agreed, oh, it was gonna be a long way for a turkey to come. And we called pretty aggressive, or Lucas called pretty aggressive, and then we moved back and kind of shut up for a while and then lucas said i'm going to go up to the fence and call and they had gone quiet there's a ditch out there probably 200 yards and uh lucas came up here and called they didn't respond didn't respond and then they called again and i was like okay they did they i guess he gotten a lot closer um we went back and sat down and i mean he had he must have been crossing the ditch or something and he walked right up here and gobbled and then the drumming was just <laughs> it was awesome. Like I said, we got this fence line here and I've this little tiny piece that we're on is just split by the road and I've called them up to this fence several times and made the mistake of being too close to the fence and then they get to where they think they should be able to see where the calling's from and they don't want to cross. But we moved back far enough and we're calling from far enough back. He was curious and he I mean it, he didn't even hang up on the fence. He walked right under it, mm -hmm. came right in here and I don't know, we shot him at Probably 15 nuts. Yeah. And the funniest thing is, I mean, it's hard shooting left-handed one, but then only having one arm. So I was swinging the gun around on my knees, and I told Lucas, "Is I going to be able to shoot him?" I said, "Yes, if he comes down this narrow path, because I'm not going to be able to move." And sure enough, I mean, he—I've never had one come more straight on. He walked straight line right to us, was coming right at us. So oh, heck yeah, worked out perfect. That's insane. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> I wonder what time it is. Because I gotta get to school at some point. 701. 701? I can go back home and sleep for now yeah, and go I to know. school. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. All right, Lucas is gonna go down there. I'm not going to point the gun at him, but you can imagine pointing the gun at him. The gun is completely unloaded and on safe. We're just demonstrating to you what the turkey saw when he came in. We had purposely picked this spot because you'll see there's kind of a lot of under, underbrush and we're just a little bit off the peak of the hill. So uh, you'll see when you go down there, but we are being safe about it. Yelp for me. Gobble. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna head back, talk to Lucas's dad, and then we gotta he's gotta go to school and I gotta go to work. So that was awesome. Rarely works out like that where you call them from that far and they come in a straight line and it all happens and I don't know, that all happened in like 20 minutes probably. Yeah. Cut a lot of distance. So it was a ton of fun. Um, first bird I've ever shot with my left hand, so that was cool. Uh, but they make it pretty easy when they do it like that. So uh, Lucas and I are gonna be out the next 
several days. So there should be more videos. Um, Lucas got one yesterday and then I got one today and we'll find somebody to take tomorrow and the rest of the week. So stay tuned, there'll be a lot more turkey hunting content. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> My turkey. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey. It's okay. <laughs>